Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry at Hudson Crossing Park. Have you noticed that the leaves on the trees are changing colors and some of them are falling to the ground? The air is a little cooler and it gets darker a little earlier every night. That means fall is here. Now Henry and I want to show you another sign that fall is here, but we won't look up in the sky. We're going to look down on the ground. We're talking about the woolly bear caterpillar. I bet you may have found a woolly bear caterpillar in your backyard. Of course, woolly bears aren't actually bears. They're actually the larva of Isabella tiger moths, but they were named woolly bears because they look so warm and fuzzy. The woolly bear caterpillars that we see around fall is one of the few caterpillars that almost everybody recognizes, and it's not hard to see why. With their fuzzy exterior and their brown and black bands, they're pretty easy to spot. Woolly bears don't actually feel like wool. They're covered in short, stiff hairs that just make them look fuzzy. Another reason they're so recognizable is that when they feel threatened or when they're picked up, they roll into a tight little ball until they feel safe again. Of course, woolly bears don't spend their lives being woolly bears. They grow into Isabella tiger moths that look like this. I'm not sure you'd ever look at a tiger moth and think, I bet that started out as a woolly bear caterpillar. But then again, if you look closely, there are some similarities. They both have that rusty brown orangish color and they've got black spots. So I guess they're not that different after all. Woolly bears, like other caterpillars, hatch during warm weather from eggs laid by a female tiger moth. This time of year, woolly bear caterpillars are looking for a spot to spend the winter. That's why you see so many of them crossing roads and sidewalks in the fall. Now, woolly bear caterpillars love to be where it's dark and cozy. And that's a really great reason to tell your parents or grandparents not to cut their gardens back in the fall. If you leave your plants in the garden, even though they might not be colorful anymore for humans to enjoy, animals and insects will be able to use them for shelter and food all winter long. That's a pretty great way to help our animal friends, don't you think? Woolly bears are pretty darn cute, and they're also pretty friendly. I think Henry's got a new friend, don't you? There's more to woolly bear caterpillars than fuzziness and friendliness, though. Not only are woolly bears super cute, some people even think they can tell the future. There's an old belief that woolly bear caterpillars can help tell us what kind of winter we're going to have. If their head and tail are very black, that means it's gonna be a cold, harsh winter. If the black is kind of even with the brown, we'll be okay. If it's mostly brown, good news. It's gonna be a warm winter and not a lot of snow. If their head is really black, that means we're gonna have a cold start, but in the end, the spring will come early. And if their tail is mostly black, that means we're going to have a long, cold end to our winter. Are these cute little caterpillars really able to predict the future and tell us what type of winter we're going to have? I don't know. But it sure is fun to look for these little guys in our backyards and in our trails and see if we can find some that tell us what to expect for the cold winter months. Well, boys and girls, I hope the next time you're out for a walk here at the park or even exploring in your own backyard, you'll keep an eye out for our friend, the woolly bear caterpillars. And if you find one, see what they tell you. Are we going to have a long, cold winter or a short, warm one? We'll have to wait and see, I guess. We'll see you next week, boys and girls.